So this new device is for the nerds. I say nerds lovingly because we all are pretty much nerds. If we own a Tesla, we like the tech and we like all, we like to see all the fun gadgets, all the cool things inside the Tesla. And actually Tesla doesn't allow us to see all those. And this is something that will, uh, will let normal people like us see a lot more data and get some more information about our car to see what's going wrong with our car. Is our car getting worse? You know, sometimes we see that the, the range isn't there that it used to have. So I'd like to get more data to find out what's going on with that. Let me show you what this device does. Well, let me show you the device first and let me show you what it does. This device here called Test Logic is a really cool device that hooks up to this the little jumper and there's another cord back there. Don't worry about all the other cords in my car. All right, so this device is really cool. They hit me up a long time ago and I've had this on my car for actually before I went to California. I've been testing this out for them and it's a really cool device that gets all the information from the computer and lets you see more on the car than what I guess everyone else can. But it, right, it shows your instant range right now, um, your current trip computer and everything. You can actually mount this on the dash. It comes with the thing, so you can use this as a speedometer right in front of you if you want. Most people aren't gonna do that though. Uh, I think they're going to use this at the end of a trip or something like that to see the data or on the track because there's a lot of cool stuff on this. So if we just swipe over from the left, it tells you, it shows you all the data from what's being used in the car right now. So if I, let's see, I'm gonna turn my climate control on and now you're gonna see, once it turns on, it's taking a minute. Now, there we go. Now the climate control turned on and it's showing that I'm using 0.1 kilowatts uh, to run the air conditioner. Let me turn the AC off so it doesn't make noise. So you'll see that turns off, it was really cool. So it tells you if the battery's heating, the seats, the heat seat heaters are on, it shows you how much power you're using, how much energy you're using. Some of this is in the new software update from Tesla showing you uh, how efficient you were on your trip, but this gives you a little bit more data that Tesla doesn't want you to see, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But it also shows you the percentage of the, bat the power from the front motor to the rear motor, and all the other accessories you have. Like I have a lot of accessories on in my car. If we swipe over, this is more of a track focus system. So you can have horsepower, G-force ratings, because the Model Y doesn't have a track mode, but uh, so you can't really see the difference in what, uh, how many Gs you have or anything like that, what the actual horsepower is. And I've tested this and it gets, there's actually quite a bit of horsepower. And we're gonna go for a drive later on and I'm gonna see what that actually is after I'm gonna fully charge this and see the difference. Uh, if we swipe over again, it shows even more information about the car. So it's, this is a Model Y, is in the US. My VIN number is 00. <laughs> Actually, it's 409. It's a very, very early VIN number. Uh, and that's, I think, an important thing with this. It shows my odometer. I'm almost out of factory warranty. The, the car's birthday is February, uh, February 21st, 2020. I picked it up in March, the end of March. So it was in Fremont, which is really cool. Now, if we hit the car information button, there gives even more information about the car. And it actually shows the horsepower. The total horsepower of the car is 558 horsepower. And whoop, we don't want to do that. The car was trying to close the door on us. I have automatic doors from hand show, so a little different. But um, it shows I don't have the boombox feature installed uh, because this is an early VIN number. And um, the onboard charger is a 48 amp charger. Kind of cool. Let's swipe over to energy because I want to hit the, ba the battery info in a second. That's the driver's side closing. The power doors, the automatic opening doors, they, turn, they close themselves after a while. So right here it shows total charge is 20,581 kilowatt hours. It also shows 14% of my power has been wasted of just being stationary. So this is at car shows, well, like right now where I'm sitting here and doing nothing. I've actually tested some t things like that and also camping in the car. That's considered wasted energy. So 14% of that is wasted energy. That's, a, that's quite a bit. 
fast DC charging. 54% of the time I've done fast DC charging, which is probably not good for the battery, and we'll get into that in a second here, but it still shouldn't have effect because I don't fully charge this car. I charge and on, on trips, I fully I charge to you know 60, 70%, whatever I need to get to the next charger, so I'm not overcharging. Once in a while I have, but and it shows I've saved the energy I've saved is 16%. So the time the charge wasted, I've regained from regen and a little bit extra, which is really cool. But battery information. Now the health of my battery, it says poor. I've done 360, 300, 326 cycles, life cycle or charge cycles. That, that's all the way up and down to full. So when you charge to 50% and then 50% again, that is a one full cycle. So, um, so I've done that 326 times. Now my battery degradation says 13%. Now here's the problem with this. When Before I left for California, I drove out to California in this car. That was a 6,000 mile trip there and back, all supercharging of course. That was at 10.5%. So I've had this for a few months now, but my battery is getting definitely worse. My max capacity is 68.5 kilowatt hours out of the 77.8 kilowatt hours. That's not good. That means something's not balanced correctly in this battery pack. And it actually shows the imbalance of six millivolts. Is that millivolts? I'm not sure what that means, but it's, it's green, so it's not bad, apparently. I'm not positive on that. Maybe someone can uh, explain that for me. But the other cool part is the emergency buffer below 0%. So once you hit 0%, you still have some room. I have 3.1 kilowatt hours. So I can probably go three, maybe five miles once it hits zero. That's something to keep in mind before the car really shuts off. And so this is a really cool device. We're gonna go for a drive later on. I'm gonna charge this up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's charging and everything. And I wanna see what's going on with my battery. Should we fully charge it? Why not? All right, so we're at the supercharger right now. It shows me getting uh, 90 kilowatts and we are getting 89 so actually it's pretty accurate for that uh, it shows the climate control and I'm using other devices so um, I mean that's pretty much all there is on that but since we're since we're charging right now uh, see with the battery degradation 13 percent my okay so the that has changed the um, the cell imbalance has changed because probably because that changes throughout the drive all right, so I just unplugged the car and we're at 90% battery. It shows the battery temperature at 133 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're got the climate control on and other stuff is going. So it's like these screens take a little bit of power. The temperature is high because we just got done supercharging. But let's go for a drive. Let's see what it's like. Cruise control not available. I don't know why I did that. But it shows the different things up there. That's kind of cool. So. As we're driving here, it's gonna show how much percent is, or how many kilowatts per motor. And it looks like it's just the rear motor right now. And the cool part is the rear, the rear motor is what really uh, does the regen and the taking off power or the initial power. So that's probably why there's nothing on the front end. And of course, I just posted an Instagram picture of a pink Model 3 that I did, and I'm gonna get a bunch of notifications on this. Uh, front motor actually grabbed a little bit. Interesting, that actually creeped us a little bit. Let's see if I just creep a little bit. So, okay, it's still the, still the rear motor. It's kind of cool to see all this stuff and uh, see it up on, on a display. But let's go to the G meter. And it shows how many horsepower it takes to get moving, which isn't much, but let's floor it. It shows negative horsepower as power going back to the car. That's actually really cool. So I just punched it there. And you, you get to see how much horsepower we're actually using out of the 558 horsepower. Interesting. I like our 566 horsepower, the max of what we used. I like this. This is going to be fun to play with uh, for just the, the data geeks that want to see all this stuff. 
and uh, enjoy you know what the car can actually do the the G meters you see going back and forth on regen if I just totally let off so as we go back to the main page it shows you instant range the range of the city and the highway what we can get so city driving start and stop takes a little bit more power on the highway it shows at 90% we can get 205 miles uh, and that's at 90 or well, 89% battery right now but it's also based off of you know me punching it back there and what the watt hour per mile is that would change a little bit as we drive I do notice that right up on top there there's a steering wheel up there and uh, I wonder if it shows if we're in autopilot or not so let me put it in autopilot and yes it does actually that's actually really cool it shows a blue circle around the speedometer max 40 miles an hour because this is 35 miles an hour here that's actually really nice so if you wanted to use this as a display it actually would be really nice to have in front of the wheel there with that mount that they give with the kit so very easy install but also this is a very usable product so let's test out zero to 60 somewhere let's find a spot and Zero to 60 run. That was quite a bit of power, 581 horsepower. It did not record a zero to 60. Wonder how you get that, wonder how you get that to happen. But it recorded a full, um, full horsepower of 581 horsepower. That's pretty crazy. So the big question is, do I recommend the test logic? Of course I do. I think if you're into understanding the car and understanding the, the numbers, the nitty gritty, the, you know, get a deep dive into the car and see what's going on, where the power is going, how much battery degradation you have on the car. And there's only a couple ways to get that. You know, Tesla, like I said, does offer that now in an update, but as far as well, they offer some more details of your trips, but they don't offer battery information. And I think that's really the best way to get it. Check the link out down below and order yours today. Super easy install. Everything's in the floorboard of the passenger seat and uh, you don't have to get up in the autopilot computer or anything. It's super easy. It hooks up to your phone really fast and you can use it as a dash or as a heads up display or a binnacle display. I think it's cool. You should get one if you like this stuff. As always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Now, I'm about to take off and go to Florida with this thing. Maybe I'll see you there. If I do see you there, say hi. Come over and say hi.